not return until you can conduct yourself in a more respectable manner. Bastards! If you don't mind my saying so, ma'am, it ain't a real good idea letting guns in your saloon there. Perhaps not, but I'm afraid there's no law against it. Maybe we can do something about that. Name's Owen Kearney. If this is Curtis Wells, I'd be your new sheriff. Oh, really? Mm. No one was supposed to get hurt. Phil, there's an explanation. Our plan is unraveling, Clay. Everything is going to be fine. If Josiah Peel finds out that I'm involved in this, he'll never forgive me. Well, he'll never find out. Besides, is that really so important to you? I'm tired, Clay. I like it here. I want to settle down. I was hoping for a fresh start. <laughs> So was I. Unfortunately for people like us, that's easier said than done. Okay. Don't be disheartened, my dear. I just, uh... <laughs> I have a propensity for melancholy. When I was just a girl, I'd sneak downstairs and watch my father playing poker. After the war, I was left alone with nothing. The things I'd learned came in handy. It seems I have a knack for gambling. I'm sure you do. You must miss your old way of life. Fine things are wonderful, but they don't bring happiness or security. You and Mr. Peel had an enjoyable evening. They know about Gibb and the others, Clay. It's falling apart. Olivia, they don't know anything. Thanks to your feminine charms, we are among the select few who know of Northern Pacific's plans to route the railroad through Curtis Wells. I paid dearly for that information. And you will soon be very wealthy indeed. You're not the only one whose way of life was destroyed by the war. And I assure you, it's a harder road for a woman alone than you can ever imagine. <sighs> Perhaps given his men are incapable of exercising discretion. I'll get somebody else. They were attacked. Oh, my God. It's one of the men that beat Nathan Connor. No, it can't be. 